we're gonna cover a single cooler by Noctua, the second generation Noctua NHD15 G2. And this review will cover four areas, the looks, installation, sound, and performance. This video also has four giveaway entry codes. See the link in the description for more information on the monthly giveaway. Starting with the looks, the Noctua NHD15 G2 offers the traditional Noctua look. Relative to other air coolers, this cooler is a monstrosity, but it doesn't disappoint regarding its cooling performance. This cooler has eight heat pipes, two large 140 millimeter fans, and two heat sinks that are slightly different sizes. In regards to insulation features, this cooler features the industry standard for insulation. However, it's larger than most air coolers, so this aspect may prove to be challenging depending on your setup. Let's run through a quick overview of how to install. First, you need to install the brackets onto the motherboard. If you're installing on an AM5 CPU, you need to use the offsetting holes. Otherwise, you just need to use the regular holes under the brackets. Once the brackets are installed onto the motherboard, add thermal paste on the CPU and make sure that you have good coverage. Once the thermal paste is applied, now you want to secure the CPU cooler onto the brackets. Once the cooler is fully secured onto the brackets, now you can install the fans. I personally like having each fan connected to the motherboard independently, but you can easily use the Y connector so it only connects to the motherboard in one spot. Before we look at performance, here's a 10 second clip of raw audio of the cooler. I increased the noise level so the cooler is clearly audible. Now, we know you're here to see how this cooler performs, so let's dive into it. We will first compare this cooler to the average cooler, and then show you the results based on the coolers of a similar weight class. For each compare, we will show the coolers over idle, high, and overclock temperatures, and show you two sets of charts. One that looks at performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks at performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, against the average of all coolers tested, we have temperatures on the left represented by the solid line, noise on the right represented by the dash line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Noctua NHD15 G2 in red provides materially better cooling compared to the average cooler in blue. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that this gap materially widens with the Noctua being over 10 degrees cooler across the board. However, this comes at the cost of the NHD15 G2 being noticeably louder, especially at the higher RPMs. When we push the cooler to 130 watts, we can see that this cooler easily handles the higher heat loads even at minimal noise levels. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you found value in this content. In our second set of charts normalized by sound against the average cooler, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, we can see that the Noctua NHD15 G2 provides noticeably better cooling for a given noise level. And when we push the CPU to 105 watts, we can see that this cooler begins to materially outperform relative to the average cooler. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that this trend continues as the NHD15 G2 provides great cooling at all noise levels. Next up, we will compare the Noctua NHD15 G2 to a few other coolers in its weight class, including the first generation Noctua NHD15, Noctua U12A, and the Phantom Spirit 120. More comparisons can be found on my website at pcanalytics.com. At idle, the NHD15 G2 holds a slight lead at idle temperatures among all the coolers compared. As we increase the watts to 105, we can see that the Noctua NHD15 G2 continues to maintain one of the lowest temperatures, staying in line with the prior generation NHD15. However, in regards to noise levels, the NHD15 G2 produces one of the highest noise levels among the coolers compared at the higher RPMs. When we pump up the heat to 130 watts, we can see that this trend continues among the coolers shown, with the NHD15 G2 being one of the loudest. Let's see how it does on a noise normalized basis. But comment below on your thoughts on the new NHD15 G2. At idle, the NHD15 G2 runs slightly cooler for a given noise level. And when we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see similar performance among the coolers at the lower noise levels. However, as we increase the noise, we see that the NHD15 G2 pulls ahead slightly. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that the NHD15 G2 maintains a slight lead. And if you're interested in another top air cooler, you should check out this video on the Thermalright Phantom Spirit 120. 